no one succeeds alone. In this life, there are too many variables for any one person to fathom. If you wish to be the best at what you want to accomplish, you're going to need to collaborate. Collaboration is the art of life. Find yourself a mentor and accelerate your progress exponentially. Okay, now let's talk about how you can get a mentor. I'm going to give you three quick tips that are going to help you exponentially in your attempts to get a mentor. So let's dive into them. Number one, figure out who should mentor you. You need to figure out who you want to mentor you. Come up with a list of prospects that will help you step up your game. I know what you're thinking. How in the blue hell do I meet them? Patience, my child. Before you start chasing superstars like Jay-Z or Tiger Woods, understand that you do not always need big shot mentors. The only prerequisite for a good mentor is them being better than you and having more experience in your field. People often misunderstand mentorship. They believe they need to aim super high. The reality is you have different mentors for different stages of your development. The mentor you have today might not be the mentor you have 20 years from now. The more you increase your skills, the more you'll be likely to get on the radar of the superstars. The superstars don't want to play with small fries, so you have to make yourself a big fry first. Number two, first contact. You need to establish first contact. This would take a bit of research on your part. Hey, I never said it was going to be easy. Figure out where your mentor is, because you will need to be there. No one likes a stalker, so think of yourself as a detective and not some fanboy or fangirl. Perhaps your mentor-to-be likes going fishing at a particular spot. Guess what? You like going fishing there as well. Perhaps your mentor trains at a particular gym. Maybe it's finally time you get off your ass and get in shape like what you said you were going to do two years ago. Once you figure out where they are, you need to go there. And don't Forget the next step I'm about to talk about, thinking win-win. Okay, number three, think win-win. In Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, he highlights the importance of thinking win-win. No one likes a leech. What value can you bring to that person's table? How can you help them? Why should they use up their time to help you? You need to be thinking of ways that you could be of service. Perhaps you wish to be mentored by someone who owns a successful business. To get their attention, you might have to help them with something in their business. You need to be creative and think of a way to offer some value. Do not be discouraged by whatever work you might end up having to do. Remember, you are not working for money. You're working for education. It's simply a means to an end. Mowing your mentor's lawn every weekend in order to get some valuable advice that will save you a couple of years of trial and error is well worth it. Sometimes all your mentor wants is a willing student. Everyone loves giving advice as long as the person listening is receptive. So be a good student. Don't outshine the master. Do you remember that law in the 48 Laws of Power? Stop trying to show off. Be humble when you're with your mentor. Learn as much as you can and you will advance. Anyway, those are my three tips on how to get a mentor. If you implement them and manage to get a mentor, you can accelerate your progress in whatever endeavor you're trying to do. So take these very seriously and make sure you like this video, you subscribe, because we're going to be doing a lot more. And if you're not subscribed, why the fuck are you not subscribed? Anyway, peace.